from Hope Church in Bromley Common. Um, today we're looking at Genesis chapter 18 verse 1 to 15. In this passage God tells Abraham that in less than a year he and Sarah will have their long-awaited son. This is a really exciting chapter in the life of Abraham and today I want to highlight three things for us to think about. Number one, Abraham waits expectantly for God. Number two, God waits until Abraham is ready to listen. And number three, our doubts don't derail God's plans. So number one, Abraham waits expectantly for God. It's been almost 25 years since God first called Abraham and promised, amongst other things, to make him into a great nation. 25 years. I don't know how you feel about waiting, but I for one find it incredibly hard. I'm sure I'm not the only parent right now counting down the days until the 8th of March. Come on. But waiting, it seems, is all part of God's plan, part of the Jesus way. Right at the start of today's passage, Abraham is waiting, as in he's physically sitting at the entrance of his tent, in the heat of the day, waiting. The passage doesn't actually say he's waiting, but I'm wondering why else he'd choose to sit outside, repeat, in the heat of the day, unless he's expecting something or someone. When our eldest daughter had her first overnight stay at Grandma's house, we told her that we'd come to collect her at about 10 o'clock in the morning. And when we arrived, she was sitting on the front doorstep, watching and waiting for us. She believed what we told her, and as a result, she sat patiently waiting for us to arrive. I think there was an expectancy in Abraham sitting too, like he was keeping watch for something or someone, with a sense that it was only a matter of time now, that the promise was about to be fulfilled. It had only been a few months since the Lord had previously visited him and maybe he sensed that something was about to happen. So he waited expectantly and when he saw his three visitors he was ready and sprang into action. Number two, God waits until we're ready to listen. Something that really struck me as I read this passage is that God waited for Abraham. Whilst Abraham was rushing around selecting the choice calf, giving instructions to his servants and hurrying to make sure that everything was perfect for his guests, God waited. God waited. I find this fact absolutely mind-blowing. The creator of the universe had come in human form to give Abraham some good news, but Abraham was super busy being the perfect host, so God waited. It was only when Abraham finally stopped that God gave him the good news he'd come to tell him. God wasn't in a hurry. We're often in a hurry, but God isn't. And just like he did with Abraham, he'll wait until we're ready to stop rushing around and be still before him. He won't compete with our busyness. He'll wait. Number three, our doubts don't derail God's plans. Abraham and Sarah have been waiting 25 years for this moment. But when they finally hear the words, this time next year you're going to have a son, Sarah laughs. And she wasn't alone. Only a chapter earlier, Abraham laughed too. God was providing a time scale for his promise to be fulfilled. Less than a year should have seemed amazing after waiting 24 years for it to happen, but instead they laughed. God responds to their doubts with a simple rhetorical question, is anything too hard for the Lord? The answer of course is an emphatic no. He then repeats his promise that in a year's time Sarah and Abraham will have a baby. A commentary on the fact they laughed stated this, It seems strangely characteristic for us to believe God's promise for a long, long time, enduring through much discouragement along the way, until the promise is almost there, and then we find doubt. I'm personally so grateful that God is faithful even when I'm not, that he keeps his promise even when I have doubts, that he stays true to me even when I'm not true to him, even when I laugh. I don't know where you see yourself in this passage. Do you identify with Abraham at the beginning of the story, waiting expectantly for God to come through for him? Does it feel like you've been waiting forever for something? Proverbs 13 verse 12 says that when hope's dreams seem to drag on and on, the delay can be depressing. But when at last your dreams come true, life's sweetness will satisfy your soul. I want to encourage you today, keep holding on to the promises that God has given you. Or maybe you're really busy, maybe with really good things, and God is waiting for you to pause and be still before him because he has things that he really wants to say to you. 
Do you need to make space for stillness in your life so that God can be heard? Or maybe you're laughing in disbelief, struggling to see how God could possibly do or be everything he says. God turned Abraham's laughter of disbelief into laughter of joy when their son was born, and they named him Isaac, which literally means laughter. Just know that God cannot break his covenant with you. After all, is there anything too hard for God? Have a great day, everyone. Be blessed.